law still says we can't live in the state of Minnesota as a tribe. To get us off the land, America needed to blame us for something. They made hunting and fishing illegal until people committed crime just for eating. The president would be the one to sign the execution order. Abraham Lincoln asked if someone else could take this burden from him, but he was told he was the only one who could do it. The whites in Minnesota demanded that all should hang. With the death toll reaching over 500 whites, the president was under tremendous pressure to approve the executions. Lincoln was reluctant. He assigned two clerks for the task of reviewing the trial of the 303 condemned Dakota. At first, Lincoln asked for them to list those guilty of molesting women. But when they found only two, Lincoln had them look again. And so he compromised. And, and. A tragic end to what whites came to call the Great Sioux Uprising. And it marked the beginning of the exile of the people. White settlers flooded into the town. New towns sprang up almost overnight. Towns with all names of departed Dakota chiefs. In 10 years, 160,000 Yankees and Europeans rolled into Minnesota, fencing off their claims. Washichiki hena Dakota wichon ikhpeapi a washichiye chekipi ta kichim. Dakota ki washichu hena wichoha I used to ship it to him, what she said to him, and I In Washington, the Senate struck out the article of the treaty, giving the Dakota a reservation in Minnesota. The Senate decided the Dakota could just move farther west. We're kicked out of our own country. The government destroyed our way of life. Starving, we had no choice but to fight the settlers for food. It was the largest mass execution in the history of the United States. 